right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. I'm busted in early on this game. It's Friday. We got things we got to do. First of all, I got to make sure everything's working over here. Sounds like it is. Awesome, awesome. All right, let me uh, switch over here. Sweet. Oh. All right, uh, I need to disconnect my mouse and uh, let's get in some Kerbal in here. I, um, I added another mod, which is, um, um, hang on, it's the, uh, the better sound engines, uh, what's it called here? The uh, Rocket Sounds Enhancement. And I have to tell you, I'm digging it. It's pretty cool. And there's some other stuff that when you're in IVA and the rocket's launching, that's something to experience too. Um, also, um, Electro was kind enough to pass along a config for me. So, uh-oh, I got an error here. Ah, okay. And that's actually the one, so... Um, Hang on a second here. Hold please. How do I do this? Probably a cut and paste. Let me uh let me close down a Kerbal here real quick. Maybe. All right, let me, um, let me see if I can address this real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, file location, go there. Go to Gamer Circle and this, and we're gonna open that up a notepad. And let's see here. Um. I think that's the problem right there. Hang on. Yep. Okay. I, I made a mistake. I cut and pasted incorrectly here. So hang on. Let me fix that. Somehow I missed a part. I have the worst copy and paste skills there is. There we go. That's probably going to do it. See if we get the uh, snake, how you doing? <laughs> Copying from one environment, pasting to another one. Sometimes mousing skills need to be across the board, you know? In other words, I. I guess I was in a hurry. And looks like we're okay. Fine. Nice. Oh, I'm doing great. I got um dinners planned out. So that's always, you know, that's one of those things you don't think you worry about. But when, hey, good morning, Jamie. How you doing? When you start your day, you know what your work is going to be. But do you have what you're gonna do after work plan. I try to, and then I try to have dinner plan. That way I can try to do as much as I can to the best of my ability. And then the, the downtime is what I look forward to. Um. So today I got my stream, we got the stream, and then after this, the all the uh, joint compound on the sheetrock is all dry, it's all rock solid, and uh, so today I go out and do a little sanding, and then I have to wipe it all down because I don't want dust on there, and I have to reapply another coat, and then I have to give that a couple days to dry, then a final sand, 
and then paint. So having it painted by this weekend was, I think, too much to do. I tend to assume the day will get away from me as it goes on. So I tried to plan the important stuff. Work, supper. Yeah, it's important, I think, yeah. Oh, that's okay. No, no problem, Electro. So Electro made a mod for me that I have a... When you want to build a rocket and don't want to risk kerbals, you usually you'll, you'll put a probe core in there. Well, he made a mod for me that will add probe cores so I don't have to. It doesn't actually put the physical core. It makes it an unmanned probe. So, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, so, oh, well, it's a config file, right? You're right. It has to go through the module manager though, right? Um, so the probe cores, right? Or the uh, guidance chips, even this thing right here, if you look at it, this is the first probe core you usually get. And it says unmanned. Now this doesn't have any SAS functionality. So that means it won't hold you just have to do it manually but then when you get when you finally get your first probe core which is this one right here not only do you get unmanned right unmanned but then you also get sas somewhere there it is stability assist and then later on when you start unlocking the other ones still unmanned and then you get more sas functionality well, what he did is he made it to where the the all these are now considered um it's got sas and uh unmanned so i can use i can actually take any pod so we'll take this one and normally if you don't put a kerbal in it and try to put it on the launch pad you get an error well now i can put it on the launch pad so what i don't have to do now is slide in a probe core so it's one less part. So again, thanks, Electro. One less thing I got to do. There it is. <laughs> All right. So yesterday we made an attempt to do an unmanned landing on Eve. And I tried to use just... A, um, a heat shield and um, that wasn't enough and also I think my my entry was too steep so let's load up our our Eve surface probe here yeah and um, I guess what I could do we could try the same thing and try um, instead of coming in at, so the, the atmosphere for Eve is, uh, is 90 kilometers. And I think maybe if we come in, I came in at 70. So let's try 85 with just a heat shield with all the ablator and see what happens. So we're not going to change anything. We're just going to change how we do things. Alex is still sick. She's uh, taking Alex Jr. to school and then she's coming straight home. And uh, I'm not letting her go outside and do anything. She she got a brand new auto tracker from Santa for her camera. In other words, once she aligns it, once she does a polar alignment with it, and if she wants to look at Andromeda, the tracker will track and help her take pictures. So. Uh, yeah, that's something we'll, we'll, we'll experiment with. So, um, um, so before I do that, let me go back to the space center. Like I said, it's been a long time since I landed on, uh, and I actually landed Kerbals and I got them into orbit. It was quite the fiasco, but that was before they made an atmosphere change too. I want to come over here. All right, we'll do that. Oh, it's going to expire in... 22, oh, okay. I got that. 
Uh, perform a manned return. Okay. Spore Gilly. Orbital study of Minmus. No, I'm not doing that. All right. Do I have any? Uh, oh, I still got active stuff. Oh. Uh, science data from Space Round Eve. Okay, Mun. Let's put this thing up and up. Now there's going to be another steam sale coming up and I'm eyeballing a couple of games. Terra nil. Can I cop? Oh, that one. Um, Hang on. No one survived. That one. And, um... I think that was it. For some reason, I'm, I'm somewhat inclined for Junkyard Truck. I don't know if I'll ever stream it. The developer has been passing out alpha keys for Rooted. Um, for some reason, I can't copy. There we go. Uh, I should have picked up Against the Storm before they raised the price. Oh, yeah, I like the art style in that game a lot. So, and they, they've come out with a new version of Ticket to Ride. I love the board game. I'm a big fan of Ticket to Ride, but evidently the new version has got a lot of mixed reviews, came out in November. That's unfortunate. So. Once Human looks pretty good, that comes out next year. good oh excuse me so anyways uh. <sighs> yeah I, I am a little close to the heat shield there oh wow really I didn't know. I thought that was a couple years out. Also, don't quote me, but I believe Terra Nil is free on mobile to Netflix subscribers. Oh, we just, we had Netflix just so we could watch The Walking Dead. Our, our Netflix, uh, we, we dropped it for, what do we pick up? Peacock, which is really cheap. Got a lot of TV series on there. Um, Stars. There's a couple of things that, that Alex is watching on there. One real scary thing, I think it's got Courtney Cox in it. So, yeah. 263, so that's gonna burn up in the Atmo. Yep, cool. I'm getting re-excited for Factorio too.
Well, they've got their uh, expansion or DLC coming out and they're gonna add some new stuff for free uh, to where you'll be able to do, um, the trains will be, uh, you can put them up on um, bridges or rails or whatever they're called. You can elevate them. I need to get back into that. I'm part of their Kickstarter, so I always get the uh, the updates from them. All right, here we go. Little burn. And uh, if I did this right, good. Nice. Oh. That burns up in the atmosphere, yay. I really should get rid of these antennas. Actually, I should redesign this the next time we do this. I did this with the parts that we had at the time. See, the last time I played Captive Industry, I took the boat, I made the boat, I went out, found another island, but right before I got there, I, I think I was spotted by a pirate ship, so I, I sent it back, I didn't have any weapons on it, so. All right, that's what I like to see, getting almost all my money back from the stages. That's what's important. All right, so we got our antennas deployed. We also have another one here for when we land. I'm not gonna worry about the panels because I can't retract those. Although again, I should swap those out. So we're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna say rendezvous with Eve. I'm cheating. So that's been targeted. Then I say advance that do that and then we go to pork chop and that's going to be one year 41 days all right so before we do that let's um check in on the guys in the station if they got a new science to transmit They do. All right, so we can transmit this science. I should probably actually send some more scientists up here and get them trained. I don't know if, how important that is. Now, while that's going on, let's check to see if, uh, I think I transmitted some stuff. Let's see, uh, nothing there, that's good. So they can um, store science here, nothing here. They can store science here, nothing there, but also probe cores and, and guidance chips. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not probe cores, but guidance chips can uh, be a receiver for uh, science. Well, with the, the mod, I think. The, my my relay mod yeah that is right there and there all right that's good i got one more to check i have spent way way too much money on games this year mostly because i paid full price for ksp2 hogwarts and starfield yeah hogwarts looked pretty good now alex is a huge fan and uh, she uh, she plays it on and off, but she's uh, currently was hooked on disassemble. So see right here, here we got some stored science right here. And she's been hammering at that crazy. Now that she's 
she got sick and she uh, saw the trailer again for the Fallout TV series coming on Prime. Now she's playing um, Fallout Shelter on her phone and she's playing Fallout 4 on her uh, PlayStation. So we're gonna add these. This is uh, stuff from Eve, I think. Oh, space. Woo, that's a lot. Oh, that's from Eve. Oh, let's see now. If I can't, if I can't transfer it, it won't let me. Can I? Okay, it's full. Same. All right. So it looks like looks like we're full. So we're gonna hang on to all those. Come over here. So you can only put 750 data. Well, you know, usually the games that I buy aren't the full 60, 70 dollar games. Like, um, uh, I think Starfield was the first full AAA priced, and then less Kerbal Two, yes, yeah, Kerbal Two. So two games. All the other ones have been like sub twenty dollars in sale. And then unfortunately, I fall victim to they're all early access. So are they going to get finished? I don't know. But then there's other games like Factorio, which I know isn't a, a huge, no, it's not super popular, but man, the game's got so much replayability again with mods and stuff like that. And I don't want to go play Satisfactory because they've got a story coming up and I don't want to get into my factory and have to refactory because no one wants to watch me redo my factory because I'm not any good at doing refactory stuff. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we want to go to the tracking station and I want to go to my Eve probe. I forgot to do a, I forgot to do a, um, I did, didn't I? I forgot to do a Kerbal alarm clock. Doggone it. All right. So we, let's go refly it. So anyway, supper tonight is what we call street burritos. No, we're not going to make burritos on the street. Um, that's not what I wanted. Where is... is that it? No. Eve surface probe. There it is. Um, it's a uh, two pounds of chicken. You put it in the instant pot so it gets really tender, really juicy, very, very spi uh, not spicy. You add a little salt and pepper. It gets very um. Um, seasoned very nicely. And instead of using water, we use chicken broth. And then we shred it up. We add um, some barbecue sauce. We add some, uh, be uh, not baked beans, black beans drained, a little bit of corn, mix that all up. And then you get some uh, flour tortillas. You put a, a little layer of sour cream. You drop this mixture on it. You put your, your favorite grated cheese. You roll it up, put a little bit of EVO oil on it, a little extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes on each side in the air fryer. Oh man, it's good. So filling, so good. Nah, it's not, it's not really a lot of work. Uh oh, right. Kerbal alarm clock. And so we got our node. We're gonna pad this by 10 minutes, 15 minutes, sorry. Then we'll do a I mean, if you think about it, if you make a burrito, right? So you got your flour tortillas, your refried beans, your burger, your meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, if that's what you like on it. So it's, you, nah, nah. Uh, exit station. The, the air fryer is kind of optional, but it makes the, it makes the flour tortilla a little crunchy. Just a, just a little bit. Not crunchy as in bad crunchy, but good crunchy. All right. Twenty six degrees outside. About the only work is the chicken. We shred it. We do it by hand with a couple of forks. 
we could break out the um the chef aid or whatever it's called and put the they got there's an attachment that will shred it for it but that's just one more thing i gotta clean i don't want to do that it just takes a few minutes to shred the chicken but i can get three of them into the air fryer so yeah the instant pot does all the cooking so and the air fryer while those are cooking i get all cleaned up i'm ready to go we're on episode eight of Stargate, Stargate SG-1. I skipped one episode. It's the one episode six, I think, where O'Neill gets duplicated by a crystal. Never cared for that one. And this is the season that I think was on Showtime before they dropped it and Sci-Fi picked it up. All right, here we go. On our way to Eve. Yay. Come on. Come on. All right, delete this and jump to the ship. And this seems to be broken. It doesn't delete it. it. Used to make everything go away. All right. Here we go. Oh, need to check our staging too. That up there. Got that engine, that decoupler, wait, that decoupler, that engine. Oh, right, I have an extra decoupler. If this is unsuccessful, we're gonna redesign this part of the rocket. Because for some reason, uh, I forgot to undo the decoupler part there. There we go. So as I look at the weather ahead, looks like Sunday and Monday, sorry, Saturday and Monday are close to 60 degrees. So, I, I'm going to give this new batch of mud I put up, I'll give it like three days to get all dry and then my final sand and then painting. I'm going to actually do this is the first time I'm going to do it. For some reason, I fall victim to with all the sheetrock patchwork I've done. For some reason, whether I use a nail, brad nail, a real nail or a screw, when I paint or when I mud, I'll get a little a little bit of rust, so I have to use a, a primer. The, the paint's got built-in primer, so I usually use this uh, Kilt's primer. So I'll do that over all the seams where all the screw heads are and stuff like that. Let that dry, and we'll put a couple coats of paint, finally. So what I need to do is put a, I guess what I could do is extend this, not worry about these, because this that, this one has a better range than these on my new, on my redesign of this stage. And um, of course, double set that. Anyways, just thinking out loud here. Oh, 
Alex made fudge last night too. There goes the 12 pounds I lost. <laughs> See how our approach is on Eve. Hey, Torts, good morning to you. All right, we are way out there. So let's do let's point towards the target. Hi, Alex. Alex is back. All right, let's um, do that. And um, see here. Question is, I want to. Oh, so we want to do something kind of like that. So we want to do an anti normal. Oh. Why can't I turn up? Okay. Stop. That was weird. Really enjoy it when Alex is here. I ever said that before? Let's try this again. Not quite doing what I wanted to do. Hmm. All right, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to come in polar so I can make sure I can get, well, I got enough signal around here, hopefully. Because I don't know where Kerbin's going to be at. And I want to make sure we land where some mass is. I mean, there's plenty of land mass here on Eve. Also plenty of water. So if I do a little maneuver node way out here, we have 206 Delta V. Oops, I want to do that. Jeez. All right, hang on. Little micro adjustments here. So we'll have to wait until we get in the system to make that adjustment there. Let's go ahead and um,
I think we were going to go for 85 kilometers. All right, close enough. All right, turn off RCS. Turn on SAS, and let's get here and do this. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, hang on. Um, uh, I have RCS on this. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something really dumb because last time we have all this debris floating in space from the uh, <laughs> from this. So what I want to do is make sure the section I have dips into the atmosphere and pretty much erodes, blows up and stuff like that. But what I should be able to do is use RCS on the lander to pull it back out of the decaying orbit. So let's see if uh, we've got 207. Now, if we do that, and let's uh, do a save there, couple that, activate that engine, which again, I don't need this section. Assuming I'll pull this antenna out just in case. So I'm kind of curious with uh, how much RCS do I have? Modern propellant 40. So all I have is what's up here. All right, so let's do a little, a little test run here. So if I say go here and um, I'm gonna bring this periapsis out. Eighty-five. I think we'll be able to do that with RCS. We just have to burn uh, radial. So let's do that. Space radial. Yeah, I don't need this engine section I have either, so. Oh, that's what I mean, I have to redesign this. All right.
could have used all that fuel to help slow down. I'm pretty sure that would have burned up in the atmosphere. I'm gonna try to just do aero brake and see how that works. And then if not, then I'm gonna use the inflatable. And if not, then I'll try to forceful slow it down. I've never had really great success. I've always had to hide behind heat shields and stuff like that. Well, no, there was one craft. Some I, I borrowed somebody's design, which was kind of like a, a winged lander, kind of like a, a plane. And uh, just coming in and skimming the atmosphere. That's probably the easiest way to do it versus a standard rocket. Right now, we're bouncing off one of the relays here. Nice. All right. Oh. Now we should have, okay, we do have an antenna here, so. So have communication, good, because I forgot to set Let's get in here and I separate these. Oh, good. So, wow, what's that doing over there? Ploy, ploy. All right, shoots are set. Now, when we get all that plasma, we're going to lose communication. Oh, that's true. Atmosphere. There we go. There goes the heat. Yeah. Let's try something here. I was just trying to uh, arrow breaking. Oh, where's my rocket? Oh, I can't see it. That's an odd bug. My rocket's gone. All right, it's gone. Can't see it.
all the times Herbal bug. We have a, a null ref. No. Usually I can come in and out of it. All right, so let's try um, switch to that. I gotta sneeze. I'm awake. I'm back. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm going to try the same rocket because this isn't going to work. I'm going to put the uh, inflatable and we're going to see how that works. I mean, there's, there's always the efficient way of doing it, right? The correct way of doing it versus the brute force. You got too much. Oh, lost communication. <clears throat> I 
SCS is having a little trouble holding too. Alright, she's gonna blow up. Out of fuel. Oh, we're in trouble. Ouch. Uh oh, little pieces breaking up everywhere. It's okay. Can you believe this? Is a probe core in there? I have communication. <laughs> We have shoots. Uh. Um. Oh, geez. There's no probe core in there. I think the probe core was sitting. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's it right there. There's our guidance chip right there. I don't know if it works with the ablator, but the inflatable shield, uh, you can burn across them. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I said, I'm gonna try the inflatable. I'm gonna put it on this thing. Hey, look at that. We've entered into the atmospheric flight. We got paid for blowing up a rocket. We have shoots. We have good shoots. <laughs> um, well, basically what I was trying to do no, I don't have any. Uh, we're just gonna land. We'll we'll probably get the achievement or uh, um, landing. We'll get that. You don't give you the right to no. Nah. I'm not a big fan of save scums. Scum saving scum. Whatever it is. Yeah, if you uh if you look at my uh my mod list in there I say no reverts unless it's a mod or a cracking issue. Hey, there's another part of my rocket. Exactly, Flash. Yep. Wonder if that's going to survive. I mean, people that run mods like Crash and other simulate. Oh, we lost communication because we ran out of battery. All right, well. Um, you know, that way they can uh, see what does and doesn't work. Right, that's how they do aerodynamic tests, right? They put something hey, into a wind tunnel and they test. That. I live on Jupiter. Thank you so much for that prime sub. Appreciate that very much. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> right back at you. Uh, 
Uh, that tracker died, so I don't... Yeah, I, I think it blew up, yeah. Exploded on impact. I mean, the only reason why I'm sticking with this is uh, we have a contract to land. So this is going to land, but that's about it. So we're going to get some big... Oh, jeez. Now, I'm curious why it ran out of juice, though. I mean, the, I turned the SAS off. Unless this actual experiment return unit actually draws power. I don't know. I re uh, hadn't realized I followed you since 2019, but recently started watching again. And you love the content. Nice. Thank you so much for that. Comms uh, uses electricity. Oh, does it? The little antenna that could. All right. Oh, you're right. I should have done the uh, hibernation mode, as he's talking about. Yeah, I should have turned that on. Yes, Alex, that's just what I told everyone in chat. I should have done that. She's over there mocking me, and I can't get mad at her because she's sick. And actually that was pretty cool. So you notice that I was warping and then the shoots came out and I'm still not in warp. That's a mod called safe shoot. So you don't rip up your, uh, your shoots. That's the drogue shoot slowing us down. And I think I got this other one set at a thousand or 1500. Uh. It was so cold this morning, I had a bowl of hot oatmeal. Oh man, that was yummy. Put a little bit of peanut butter in there. Steel, steel cut oats. See, takes you out of warp. That's a great mod. That was a recommendation from Linux. Excuse me. So we're basically gonna land in the water. Yep, I'm on the east coast of the United States. Oh. Ah, uh, you know, these got more protein in them. Here in England, isn't too cold, thankfully. Oh, yeah, it's, um, we got a, we got a brutal winter coming up. I did a little bit of automation last night with a home assistant. I got my little LED project all automated. So it, they come on before I get into the office here and they turn off before uh, when I go to bed. Did the Christmas tree lights too. Just gray and wet, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, it's actually a beautiful day. It's just freaking cold outside. Of course, I walk around in shorts. That doesn't help. I'm agreeing with Alan. Huh. There you go. We're going to make one change to this rocket. We're going to try the inflatable and see if that can deflect the heat. Um... And we'll use the stage before to slow us down. We're going to try to slow down and stay about um, 85 kilometers as we come in. Try. The, 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 the time, the one time that I successfully landed with a Kerbal and got him out was before they made the atmospheric change. Um, and I'm thinking, hang on. Hang on. Oops, sorry about that. Do, 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 do. These are all my previous Kerbal saves going all the way back to 1.2 when I started saving them. Um, I think it was the colonization one I did at 1.4.3. Yeah, 
I think that's when I landed on on Eve. Well, since I don't play through Steam, it's hard for me to say, but when I first started streaming Kerbal, it was like six hours a day, five days a week. So I did that for easily three or four years. There we go. Did a belly flop. We landed. Hey, look at that. Race in there with a resub. 34 months. Am I senile? Didn't I get this last week? Oh, I probably not. Um, so look at that. 13,000 for splashing down in the oceans and 330,000 Kerbuckle Box, 22 science, and 45 pump to our reputation. That's right, we landed. Uh, I still have the KSP music video saved from a few years back. They made a music video, or someone did? Interesting. There you go. Well, I thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right. So, um, all right, let's make version two of this, which is going to be just one easy change. Actually, a couple changes. We're gonna get. Um, uh, so first of all, on the engine plate. That's not the engine plate. Turn that off. And instead of a heat shield, we're gonna do the inflatable. That's electrical. Uh, so when we go through the atmosphere, we'll go through that like that. I played it when it first came out and it, it's basically just a sandbox game that for me it's got some performance issues supposedly what they're saying not only do we have new content coming out but they said they've addressed some other performance issues and i'll read through those um so next tuesday my stream schedule will be a little different maybe um I have to discuss it with Alex because uh, it won't release until one o'clock my time. And normally I start at uh, seven thirty in the morning and go till about eleven or noon. So, yeah. all right. So uh, we're gonna call this um, version or uh, Mark Two. And I want to go through here and fix my staging. Let's see, oh, and lower this down a little bit. All right, let's see here. So that's good, that's good. Get rid of those. Then that, 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 that. Okay, so we'll still keep that. The fairing thing, we're gonna put that all the way up there, I guess. That, that's fine, all right. Save it. Put it on the pad.
I need another beverage. All right, put this uppity up. Here it goes. By the way, if anyone uh, ever misses a stream or they want to catch up, I, I take all my VODs and I put them up on my YouTube channel. Has Alex tried to own it? She owns it. She's played it. She's, like I said, she's knee-deep in Fallout and Dismantle right now. Does that still work? There it is. Can't seem to find what? Is, are my links broken? Oh, okay. Oh, you're trying to find the music video? Uh, are those boosters gonna make it to the sea or did they just go boom? No, they, they, I'll get them recovered. See, I recovered them. Oh, the fan made video. I got you. Mm. I was going to make Another change with the solar panels completely forgot, but oh well. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, FX Editor. How you doing? Many attempts for an Eve landing. We're going to hide behind the inflatable and see if that helps. We actually landed on Eve. We actually did. Parts of the ship did. And we got credit for it. What we're trying to do now is do this one. And that one. And that one. So when we start going through the atmosphere, um, 
I need to do, I can't turn on the science collection because, well, I might lose an experiment if I do that. Doing good, except for having to work over the weekend before, because of my vacation. They're making you work because you're taking a longer vacation. That's bunk. Looks like Vulcan was delayed again. Oh. Oh, from the, um, um, that Rocket Labs? Cool. All right. Um, so let's do this and then Eve. That's been targeted. Oh, is that you? Oh, I thought it was Rocket Lab. All right. That would be, uh, uh, Tony? Tony's the man? Bruno? Tony Bruno? What do we want to do? We want to do this. That guy is totally transparent. I love his honesty on Twitter. All right, so we'll make a Kerbal alarm clock for this. And before we head out, let's go to the station. Let's see here. So we should have some science to transmit. Oh, yes, we do. Other than like getting almost 500 science. And as soon as this gets transmitted, we'll go in there. We know we have a guidance chip that's got some more science stored away. We can add that. So where am I getting the science from? I'm using a mod called Science Relay and relaying the science instead of to KSC. I'm sending it here. And the scientist inside the mobile processing lab is taking the data from it and giving us uh, more science in return. Nah. No. About the only thing I want to do, and I'm going to do it when it's warmer, is uh, we wired this room for, for data, and I want to send another Ethernet into the living room and put a backbone connection for our mesh router up there. Okay, so that was sitting uh, here, part. But to do that, it's not a straight crawl space crawl because from where our connection is, I can get about maybe two thirds and then I have one big four inch PVC pipe in the way and then the AC return or the HVAC returns in the way. So I have to huck the stuff over that and then come in through a smaller access point and then where they um, where they busted in on the 
uh, original foundation when it was just a square house. There's a, a bunch of bricks I have to crawl over. Not look forward to that. No, I don't want to do that. No, it's cold down there. It's very cold down there. All right, so I'm looking for my guide ship, which is right there. And, oh, okay, so it's not that one. I thought it was that one. And there we go. All right, so add that one, add that one, that one. Ooh, that is a big one. All right, so all this uh, Eve science is now being uh, worked on right here. Cool. All right, let's head back to the tracking station. Because where the... Uh, where the uh, where the mesh router is right now, there's actually um, <laughs> there's actually a new outlet and an old outlet. The old outlet has a blank on it and still has the metal outlet. So what I have to do is just uh, detach that from the two by four and let it fall down, and then it'll tell me exactly where I need to go to, and then just run a cable up, put a new jack there, and we're good to go. All right, here we go. I'm not afraid of the crawl space now that I'm more familiar with it. And uh, the prior tenants weren't very adamant about critter control. <laughs> um, so the, the, the crawl space has got vents and uh, the vents are big enough that a field mouse can get through there. But there's one vent that had been, I don't know, pushed in somehow. And then there was another vent where they brought an external, uh, I don't know what you want, a, a duck into an external building and it wasn't sealed real nice. So, so things like possums and cats could get underneath there. And uh, I found a dead possum carcass that had been dead for a long time. In fact, we have plastic down there for a, a bear barrier. I had to cut away the plastic because the body had decompose so badly. It was gross. So, yeah. But when we had electricians and plumbers here, we, we did the full squirting, you know, um, talking in all the holes and stuff like that. So pretty darn confident, you know, they might be able to get into the walls, but not into the house. And there's no insulation in the walls, so. Don't have to worry about that. Because we have a brick house. All right, 30 days. Here we go. Yeah, I'm more I'm more of a movie watcher than a music listener. I um what did I watch last night? Oh, The Great Outdoors. Watch episode of Stargate SG1. And I started watching um the extended versions of uh uh Fellowship. So that that's four hours on the couch right there, just for that one movie.
Oh, I know, I know. And, and plus, just the, the little bit of extra character stuff that you find out, you know, that you discover. This is not going to be a good year. 2024 will not be a good year for Marvel movies. Maybe Deadpool 3. But um, there's about one thing I'm looking forward to, which is unfortunate. Um, in the MCU, pretty much all the stories have been told, really. And I think a lot of people are, are uh, suffering from uh, superhero saturation. Batman, Superman, Iron Man, all that kind of stuff. Um, I enjoyed Ant-Man. Um, I like the introduction of characters that people aren't familiar with, like, you know, like, um, Kang, um, and, uh, you know, the Marvels, I heard was a terrible flop, but, um, I want to see the interaction between Ms. Marvel to two Captain Marvels. I just want to see what story they're they're telling. I looked at the Truman Show, the Jim Carrey Truman Show. Wow. But um, um, it's one of those things that as a comic book guy, I try to watch all the superhero movies. And I find myself rewatching in chronological order uh, the Marvel movies about once a year. They have pl they had plans to, but it wasn't not the last D twenty three, but the next one. They they talked about it, but they didn't do anything. But yeah, it would be nice if they brought, you know, on Disney Werewolf by Night, shot in black and white, great black and white black and white great great story great cinema photography um one of my favorite comic books before i really started collecting was the what if series and what they did in the animated was really good and they have a season two of that coming out um loki season one was not bad it was it's it told the story that you only really found out about if you really read all those marvel comic books um, and, uh, I haven't gotten to season two yet, but, uh, we have a, a new fantastic four. So hopefully, you know, but I think Kevin Fahey, if that's how you pronounce the name, I think he's got a good idea that it's time to do a soft reboot because all the original actors are getting too old. I hate to say that. You're hoping for Mr. Sinister. Good character. Good X-Men supervillain, though. We have two encounters out there. Wow. All right. That's interesting. I wonder if I should try to fix that. Yeah, if I don't fix that, that's going to... Landing on a polar is really strange. So let's do a course correction out here. See if I can't fix that so what do we got to do here let's turn off all the nonsense there so if we do that and then can we push that out up uh, just a little bit yeah because kang Originally, I believe, was he in Avengers or Fantastic Four? I can't remember. Um, hmm. I guess I can't really fix this, can I? You know, Black Panther was one of those unsung heroes too. I, he was part of the Marvel Illuminati. Not, not, not too many people knew that. 
comics and superheroes are are really an incredible culture in our country like mangas for japanese gotcha yeah i mean they're 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 good stories a lot of people that read just chapter books throw their nose up at comic books only to find out that a lot of the movies you watch are not only written by chapter writers but they're written by comic book writers too I love Killmonger's speech at the end. Oh, well, good. A lot of people, uh, you know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, right. When he was talking about the sunset and whatnot. Yeah. yeah I mean, they made a mockery out of Modoc too. I, I couldn't believe what they did to Modoc. Still. Not always solid writing. I, I don't like this. Uh, yeah. Why can't I move that? I mean, some stuff is not filmable. Why am I having such a hard time fixing this? No, I don't have the best orbital mechanic skills, but this seems like something I should be able to fix. Oh, AI. I move that all the way over there. Does that help at all? No, it doesn't. I think what I need to do is a couple different burns here. So if we zero these out and just do normal. What happens if we do another one here? Trying to, trying to trying to see if I can't actually I don't care if it costs too much delta V. I just want to see how I would fix this. Oh wait. I guess my angle leaving Kerbin was really bad. I guess the only way I can really fix that is when I get really close. It's a lot of Delta V. All right, so we're just gonna have to do a, a wacky angle here. Not here, but period. All right, so 
let's uh, zero everything out again. And let's do... Not that way. Do that. Up to about there. Alright, let's do that. Um, the one thing I like about AI is means I do a little editing when it comes to video stuff that I use um, DaVinci Resolve. It's not as feature rich. And when I say that, I'm, I'm not a, a professional at all. So I don't know all the jargon, but I used to use Adobe Premiere and it crashed a lot. And I thought it was just because I had an older CPU only to find out it's an industry running joke. And yes, Adobe has a very fine suite of, of uh, tools, but a lot of people have switched over to DaVinci Resolve because A, it's, it's a, you can buy it and own it and you get all these updates for free. But the one thing that AI has now is it has built-in closed captioning, which you would think, why do you actually need that? Well, for editing, when you have, if you were trying to do like jump cuts or transitional cuts or whatever you're trying to do, you can actually search your closed caption. It'll take you right to the point instead of you scrubbing to it. So I think that's really cool. We'll burn. Oh. We lost communication. Oh, I forgot to extend my antennas. No. All right. Well, I guess we're not doing this. I have to get closer to Eve. Or I forgot to extend. I got, this is what happens when I start talking about stuff. Let's see if we can pick up a sense. So the only antenna we got is what's in our guidance chip. No, no. We have the other antenna. The... Uh, Hey, hey, we got a signal. <laughs> All right. So, um, first of all, hang on. Let's go back to the craft and extend an antenna this time. Watch the signal. Wait for it. Boom. All right. Now we're talking. Imagine 2 was was just released. It's pretty good making pictures. I'd call it the first AI gen that is capable of making photorealistic images that I can't tell aren't photos at all. I, I watched somebody's video where they created a video of a model. Very, very, um, very tasteful. And it was, it was fake model. I was, and I couldn't tell. It's uh, it's the year of AI, that's for sure. All right, 521 Delta V, and then we'll kick off this stage here. Oh, interesting. Well, I know the last, the last, the latest rider strike, uh, the, um, the union actually put stuff in there about AI written scripts. As in, no. Ah. 
I don't know. In fact, um, in the streaming industry, there was a, I saw an article where someone it enabled AI into their chat to where chat could create content. And it was on one of those channels that recently got banned, but then brought back because of the terms of service change. So, you know, I don't know if it really pays to be controversial about stuff sometimes. All right, so what do we want to do here? We want to, let's get inside the sphere of influence here. Oh, I want to get rid of this stage. So actually I need to, uh, we've got 216 Delta V. And uh, the easiest way to um, get this stage to burn up and not be a piece of debris is we're going to do uh, some radial in, like about that. That puts us in, in the atmosphere. Hey, Al, what's up? 07. Uh, 8. How's that? Is it a competition? Did I win? Doing fine, feeling like I'm getting, feel like I'm getting a cold. Alex has been home sick two days because of, but it, her fever, she lost, she, her fever went away when she went to bed, but she woke up with a, a mild one. Uh, she's, uh, she's got strict orders from, or uh, nothing but naps today. Oh, I got you. Salute. So this should. Oh, darn is what you meant to say, right? Remember family friendly, no, no bombs. All right. That was awesome. So now we should be able to see, say goodbye to that. Fire that up and then let's do a course correction so we don't die. We want to do this and we're going to do it at, um, 85 kilometers. Close enough. And then when we get close, we're going to try to use this stage to slow us down. Oh, darn. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have... Oops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. At, I keep hitting the wrong keys. I have a smattering of relays around to help with communication. And I've got, uh-oh. There. So before we enter the atmosphere, we'll retract that. All of our big communication was on that stage right there. It's five kilometers inside the atmosphere. Well, when we get close, we're going to start slowing down because as you see, I'm coming in a little too fast.
Can I use RCS to, uh... Waste of fuel. So, what I want to do is start slowing down. As somebody suggested this earlier, I should do this. All right, let's do a correction on this. We want to do a radial out. Get close. Put our antenna in. Oh, I can't get it. Uh. And flying low. Surface, all right. Where is science? There it is. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, dangerous, dangerous. Didn't realize I was going to use that antenna. Thank God. All right. Oh, this is not good. That's what I get for doing too much, right? Not going very well. So I could have swore. Recover or transmit. Oh, okay. So we have to do a different experiment. Um, yes. Surface. All right.
I got a ledge in there. I was going to run out of fuel. Well, it's still fast. Slowing down and cooling. Oh no, we were cooling off. But at, at our current altitude of what? We got 80 kilometers. We should be, yeah, we're dragging that, that app wapsy in here. I was never a fan when they first introduced it. Actually, um, Rocket, uh, I'm sorry, not Rover Dude introduced one. And I tell you what, I had so many problems with that thing, I stopped using it. So when they actually introduced it, what was it? Um, I don't know what DLC they introduced it, but I said, oh, I don't think so. Only to find out it, they fixed it, I guess. It was it? All right. You know, it's interesting, all this Kerbal talk, for some reason, in my recommendations on YouTube, there's been, um, you know, rocket clubs launching, and, uh, man, there's been some really incredible rocket launches that I, I, I knew, I knew it was serious, but I didn't know how serious, and then, unfortunately, I got across some, some failures, too, so, like, one rocket looked very elegant in design and I don't know what was wrong with it but when the rocket ignited it actually went all the way through the fuselage and through the nose cone in the beginning it was super useful but nowadays I feel like it's more stable and more well I'm, I'm a believer of it now I think we're uh we're on our way in, no matter what. We're all in, folks. What I don't understand is that by nature isn't a stage isn't the detacher isn't it i'm not too sure what you mean al all right where the heck am i
Uh. Alright, so I hate to do this. I guess I should do it manually. Grab some science here manually. Low flying. Uh, hang on. I'm going to figure out where that's at, actually. Hold, please. This is when things horribly go long when I'm looking for something. So on Eve... The 400 kilometers is the border. So right now I'm, oh, low flying. So flying low. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to just watch for the situation and turn green. So surface, that's fine. You can do that. Low flying. Atmosphere low. Oh, uh, 22 kilometers. I have to go underneath 22 kilometers for low. Got it. Oh, just flip it over. Oh, interesting. How's our batteries holding up? the dangerous experiment that I don't want to run, but I'm going to try. Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. Huh. Okay. I didn't seem to grab any data. says toasty <laughs> so i brought a uh, just in case we had fuel pro or uh, power problems i brought a, a standard fuel cell and then this comes from a mod i have an apu so this uses um uh monopropellant so that's why i brought some monopropellant just just in case we had a little bit of a hiccup oh look at that i, I didn't get rid of the um Oh, that's because I went the other way with him. Oh, okay. All right. So far, so good. Slowing down. Warming up. At least it's a nice, bright day out here. And we're uh, talking to Kerbin through some EVE. And I actually tried to put some satellites in a synchronous orbit and my stages were messed up. And when I went to hit spacebar, I actually detached my satellites versus the stage I want to do. And warm. Yippee. 
looks like my graphic settings are wrong. I don't forget we're looking for uh, 22 kilometers. So I, I need to run any up oh, we lost communication. He's heating up. I have no control, Al. No control. Oh. And we're cooling off. And we're heating up. Yep. Sonic boom. That's a... Uh-oh. Oh, she's veering. Uh, give us communication. Oh, we got communication. Thank goodness. All right. Um... Guessing at this speed, probably, I would hate to raise this antenna, it rips off. We're gonna wait for a little bit. We can actually probably get rid of this. Oh, geez. Well, when the shoots pop out, we'll get rid of it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a uh, temperature. All right, so inflatable heat shield for the win. And plus, slowing down probably help as well. 23 kilometers, 22. And for the green check mark here. There we go. Grab that. Now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the science collection. And we should be storing it. Oh, darn it. Should be going there. Did any? Yeah. Oh, there's our shoots. So if I review these and keep... Oh, they stay in the guidance chip. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Can I transfer data? It's like parts to transfer from. Uh... Sweet. Did that work? No, I transferred them to them. Oh, darn. Uh... Transfer data to there. Nice. All right. I didn't know you could do that. Oh. I think we're safe for the antenna. Maybe. I can figure out how to raise it. There it is. All right. Well, thank you for that warning.
<clears throat> All right, so the drug shoots are set for what? <coughs> um, three thousand. <coughs> we got a ways. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. What I lose? We lost tank, tank. Okay. Hey, Ben. How you doing? We lost a uh, solar panel, too. Didn't lose. That's where it didn't show. Uh, they get, oh, no. Huh. Didn't show the solar panel getting whacked out. All right. At least we got one. No, no, let's not risk it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. What happened? No. Oh, a collide, something collided with a collider. Ah, what happened? And okay, we knew about that. So the science junior collided with the heat shield. So the heat shield whacked it. All right, that, that's all my fault. There goes our solar panel. I can't even, oh well. <laughs> All right, so what I should do is um, we're gonna swap out the solar panels with ones that we can extend. Um, that heat shield we're just gonna have to wait until the uh, shoots come out darn it sorry about that guys well this is a, a good time to um reboot kerbal or we'll use the restroom and get another beverage and snack because we're gonna do this we're gonna do it we're gonna get it that was all, that was all on me. So. By the way, in Kerbal 2, they revealed that this is actually a discoverable item on the Mun. Or what we call anomalies in Kerbal 1. So let's give uh, Kerbal a relaunch. And I'm going to go over here and do the burb. And we'll get that going. And I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. How are we doing? Thanks, Hal. some hard combinations in there oh snuck one in all right let's get on with this so don't let go of the heat shield until the parachutes grab got it um but look at that we got some science when we're out there that was nice um I was going to change the solar panels. Uh so these are the 1x5s. Holy, those are some, those are re retractable, right? Yeah, okay. Good thing I just checked that.
All right. Uh, looks good. Good. So I'm kind of curious what would happen if I swap this out for swivel or skipper. If we put a balloon on a turtle and let it float all the way to Eve, well, I don't think it would survive. It would, uh, surrounded in a, a comfortable cushion of breathable atmosphere, maybe. You're thinking his his hard exterior shell would be able to. Uh, Survive. Sure, they're airtight, yes. Um, you know, I, I guess that's, I don't need two of them, but I'm doing it so I have symmetry and I don't have weird wackiness, oh well. You mean the, uh, the shuttle engines? What is your favorite Those things... waffle? Those things scare me. Galadez, the go shock or the go ghost hawk. Thank you so much for that follow. My favorite waffle right there. Because they have too much gimbal. And yes, I know I can adjust it. All right, here we go. They're really small and really powerful. That's why. I've already made some changes to the rocket. Hopefully it doesn't have any adverse effects. All right, big beam. All right. We're doing a whole bunch of unmanned. Uh, we're getting closer to actually landing on Eve here.
Did you fix the staging so things don't go boom? Well, all I need to do is not let go of the heat shield until the parachutes uh, inflate and then shouldn't be a problem. added another reaction wheel so when we're going through and we lose communication we're trying to hold on to uh retrograde hopefully we'll hold on to a little bit because we got communication barely in time before we flipped which actually probably wouldn't have been that so bad i'd have shaken apart i don't know Why is that one highlighted? That's weird. Stop highlighting. I went to, um, so Stationers had a big update, mainly for Rocket, for their Rocket. And I went to start up a new game I'm on the moon and I don't see the earth around me anymore. I think they broke the earth. If you have stationers loaded up, start on the moon and see if you see earth. I don't see earth. Unless it's on the other side of the moon, but I don't think they did that. Really? I don't I don't think they would have done that. Is it now like space engineers? No. They've actually, um, they have a lot of dedicated parts, a lot more different dedicated parts for different things, different engines and stuff like that. So they put some thought into it. I don't know how good it is. This again. Oh, I can't even see Eve on the list here anymore. There it is. All right. And then we do this. <sighs> One year, 87 days. Ugh. Do that and then 
that 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 now um let's go station they've got signs to transmit We still got a lot of data too. So I updated the mod list. I did not have the rocket sound enhancement in the list. It should be in there now. That works good. Now, because... Um, Would it be to my advantage to have a level five scientist on the surface of Eve? I guess so. But I'm thinking that by the time I get all the science I need unlocked, I can, I can do a crew rotation and have scientists to deploy deployable science on Eve and Duna, et cetera. So yes, it would be good to have because you get more, I think the science experiments now yeah so the science experiments i think when they're deployed with a higher level scientist you get a little bit more just like when you do an engineer for the panels you get more power all right i think that's how it works actually Probably what I should do before I do this. Let's go back down and spend some science. Because we got some crazy amounts of science. All right, so, um, big SRB. What's down here? More. This is, uh, robotics and stuff. They, I've got, um, a lot of data. They're still working on the data. But yes, when we do this landing on Eve, we'll transfer all this stuff to, there. The Corgi. <laughs> That's a thousand science. That just gives me an SRB that I'm never going to use. But I have to unlock that to get the Mammoth, though. And 550 for a big flag. wheels oh i got a big fairing that's worth it um oh mining stuff yes Ooh, jumbo tank jumbo uh so we have to unlock that to get to the rtg is that how that works okay all right, we're broke now. Lore-wise, it would also make sense to start colonizing Eve due to its dense atmosphere. The scientists could focus on engines more optimized. Yes, exactly. But I'm not gonna do that though. <laughs> That's a real good one, Al. I mean, if Kerbal 2 takes off of the whole colonization, what they said early on is that you will not be able to go interplanetary until you start colonizing. All right. I 
Uh, that one. So yes, you're going to have to make little baby Kerbals. Ooh, a Mungate. Yeah, that would be cool. Alright, so I got the right craft. Let's go here. The thing with this one, Al, is my my objective is clear and the more stuff you put into Kerbal, like probes and, and data into your save file, the slower it gets. So I'm trying to trying to minimize that. So once I'm done with Eve, most of those things I'll probably deorbit and let them crash. And again, I'm not using any mods to collect or uh, uh, any mods that get, add additional science experiments. Am I? I don't think so. Uh, just different versions of them. So I think we're going to pretty much max out the tech tree before Duna, probably, or in the middle of Duna. Hey, DJ, how the heck are you doing? <clears throat> All right, here we go. For those people that don't know, DJ is actually the one that explained to me not what Delta V is, but how to read Delta V on the nav ball compared to what Kerbal Engineer told me I have. So each time I'd try to do a burn, he would say, you don't have enough Delta V. And I'd go, uh, okay, maybe, I don't know. But it was actually showing it. DJ, do this command. Do that command. That's true. Look at that, eight years. Still hanging around. <laughs> Thanks, thank you, DJ. <laughs> yeah i started this strange little stream twitching twitching streaming on twitch thing with kerbal still doing it with kerbal next week uh i think i'm gonna mix it up a little bring oni back um and also i might start uh baldur's gate i don't that's a huge investment, Baldur's Gate. That's what's got me scared about that.
You know what I wanted to do is before I did this burn, I wanted to see if I could do a better um, job than Mech Jeb. I guess I still could, right? Let's see. Um, oof. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, so if we go retrograde, if you decide to do Baldur's Gate 3, Larian made a Twitch add-on to allow chat interaction with the game. If you, oh, that sounds really cool. I like interaction stuff. I did one where it was more of a, just a, a, it wasn't really a game per se, but I was trying to run and hop around, go from room to room and chat could cause things like make the ground ice or drop knives from the ceiling or something like that. All right, let's see here. What does this do? All right, so if we do... Hmm. What am I looking for here? That, that. All right, so, no, not that. That. So if I come out here and do this, and then do that. Oh, that's gonna go. I wanna bring that down. Then if we bring it, um, oh, well. wrong way tree up alex has been sick for two days so the decorating has been put on hold so she doesn't miss out on it hang on before we do that can i not bring that down more uh no, i guess not this is our first christmas in our new house Pretty nice. It's going to be a real baby burn here. So now we just have to uh, All right. 
Oops, I mean to do that. All right, so when we get inside, we'll make some more adjustments here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. did that wrong didn't I um whoops all right so hang on I wasn't paying attention again so let's get rid of this Well, that's a bummer. I wonder if I can just hop out and hop back in. I will give that a try. Did not realize that my, uh, <laughs> I warped to the wrong side of the trajectory. All right. So, it's, uh, target Eve again. And this time we should be do able to do a home and transfer. Well, oh. That's a bummer.
next year I think we're going to do some permanent lights from Govi. A little pricey, but if we budget, we get one initial string out there, then we can add to it each year. And they're completely customizable too. That, I mean, it's just not different colors. You can actually do like team colors or holiday colors and stuff like that. And then um, I believe I've uh, watched people use um, WLED for using Gobi also too. I'm confused. All right, so while we're way out here, um, need to do something to bring the periapsis. Hmm. Well, that was a total uh, botch job on, on my half. What I'm hoping is that when we dip into the atmosphere, we'll actually complete the capture. That was supposed to work anyways. So let's um, extend this just in case. And let's get close.
right, so we're at... Try to slow down a smidge. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Okay. Um... So we're coming in really fast and really steep. Things are getting really warm. Lost communication. Oh, we're drifting. Kind of glad we added that other reaction wheel. So we've passed. Are we going to draw it in? I don't think so. So we're going to do another lap around the block here. There we go. We got communication back. All right. We gotta do another flying low. Oh, that's right, we do. All right, 22 kilometers. And okay, we'll wait until we're out of the atmosphere. We'll pop this, pop one of the uh, panels out so we can charge. Sun's over there, we should be able to. go we're just down a little bit there all right let's leave that out for now and then we'll zip all the way back around here back in trying to there we go One minute and some seconds to the periapsis, which is currently at 71 kilometers. Getting toasty. Still a little fast. Okay, 
and warm. And cool off. Oh, lost communication. I think we got up to 72% on the thermal percentage last time. Wow, look how fast that Apple apps is being dragged in. I think we started at 41, 4,100 meters per second. Okay, we got 30 seconds to the periapsis. That's holding. Oh. Oh, did we pass it? I didn't notice. No, we didn't. All right. I do. I'm, I'm digging them. Yep. They still give you reason for uh, caution, though. This is it. This is our last loop. We're landing. Oh, we're drifting though. No, 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 no. Oh, we're drifting. Come on, slow down. Cooling off. Oh, we're so close. I've never done any underwater excursions in Kerbal. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Bad timing. Oh. Okay. Physics is dragging us back prograde. That's good. All right. Are we going to pick up any communication? Oh, score. All right. Remember, just bomb, cool, and collect. We're going to do an F5 right here. We're going to land in the water. Okay, surrounded by all that land, we're going to land in the water. All right, so... I'm curious. So if I do that. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna not gonna risk it. I'm just wondering that did I have enough reaction wheel to uh flip upside down? Das Valdez made like a uh an amphibious vehicle once that was pretty cool. He was using um uh, empty um um ore containers as ballast. 
So. Shoots. Still sixteen kilometers up, and these are set for uh pretty close to the ground. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we are at 7,000. The Drogue should pull at three. And Safe Shoot, which is a mod, so our um, a Time Warp should, uh, should uh, kick off. All right, here we come. Wait for it. See, took us out of time warp. Rogue shoots are deployed. So now we should be able to say goodbye to this. See you later. Hopefully we don't land on that. Still falling. We're gonna see what if it disappears, then that means it it blowed up, sir. I think it's floating. So if we do this. Oh wait, hang on. Wait, gone. All right, 600 meters. We're about to land on Eve. Oh, science collection on. Here we go. There we go. And then if we pop a panel and then 
Extend that. Then say, uh, huh? How do I transmit all the data? View. Nice. All right. And this I want to send to this lab. setting experiments and whatnot. All right, touchdown. Oh, we broke a panel. Bummer. And we didn't have them both out. to transmit the atmospheric pressure scan so I need to find that one wherever it is can't be run right now so that means it's stored up here there it is so we have some juice right go and transmit that one all right that completes that contract to these wait for our batteries to get fully charged yeah all right and lopsided all right we need to go to Mun. I'm sorry, that was for space around the Mun. Maybe look at it and don't have a new contract to ask you to send data. Yeah, we'll, we'll get those. That'll be a repeatable quest. All right. And we grab this little bit of science data right here. All right, no contract. Check it out. So we recovered our stage again. Yay. And uh, got 31,000 for uh, flying low, plus six science. Then completing the, oh no, this was uh, surface data, 153,000 kerbuckle bucks. That paid for the rocket. Um, oh, there it is, 62 for that one. And then overall, Eve landing, another 62,000 kerbuckle bucks. Cha-ching. Oh, man. Awesome. Nothing like cleaning up a bunch of contracts. I always say.
Now it gets comp. Uh -huh. Now it gets complicated. They want a a manned return from the orbit eve. That's actually not too bad. Orbit eve and bring him back. So that'll be a good test uh, for next week. That was a perfect ending to uh, today's stream. All about Eve, doing what we need to do, 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 you know. 228 science, but um, I bet if we go up to the science lab, I bet they have science to transmit. Hey, Pookie's here. Hi, Pookie. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, it's snack time. All right, let's see. Yep. They still have 554 data, so let's transmit that data. And while that's going on, I believe all of the stuff has been showing up in these guidance chips. I wish I could pick which guidance chip it goes to. That way I knew which one. Not that one. Part. There we go. All right, so there's uh, more data from Eve. Wow, that's a big one right there. Can't analyze that one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I guess we filled up all the data. That one we got. Nope. Nope. All right. Oh, let me do that. Almost there. So we filled up the data again. That was another 500 science. All right. Ooh. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, let's roll some credits here real quick. I'll be back on uh, Sunday with some stationers. We're going to see what happened there. This is the big patch and whatnot. But uh, thanks for the new follows. Uh, Jupiter, thanks for the new sub. Race, thanks for the resub, guys. And uh, you guys have an excellent Friday and Saturday. Snake, we'll see you later. And we'll see you back on Sunday. Wheeze 50. Thanks for the follow. How you doing, Wheeze? All right. Check with you guys later. Oh, yeah. Let's go see. Uh, that's right. I was going to go uh, pass along to Jamori in here real quick. Hang on. He's playing Dyson Sphere. So, hang on. Let's set this up. Do, 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 do. I got to learn how to do it again. There we go. DJ, you're welcome. Thanks for popping in and thanks for uh, eight years, man. Appreciate that. All right, guys. Go over there and say hello. I'll be there for a little bit.